but you texted Paul Bettany, correct? Again. Okay. So she, you, you, the Boston flight, you were drinking pretty heavily. Were you there? <laughs> Ended up with a very ugly situation with Amber. So Mr. Depp, with, with the, respect, um, trying to respect the court's time and the jury's time, that was not my question. My question was I simply, when you, you would agree, you, look for you would agree, you would agree that on... Uh-oh. Being respectful of the court's time. Come on, guys, we need something. Let's pull up Exhibit 500, please. 500? 500. Defense Exhibit 500. sequel I lied to. Sometimes drink whiskey in the mornings too, right? <laughs> Isn't happy hour anytime? <laughs> Can't say that you carried cocaine in that box? No, but it looks like it would fit some cocaine. <laughs> I once gave uh, Marilyn Manson a pill uh, so that he would stop talking so much. <laughs> <laughs> Did I read that right? You did. Did I read that correctly? You did. Okay. Did I read that right? Yes, you did. Did I read that right? You continue to read them right, yes. And <laughs> right after you cut your finger off. What? You or right after uh, What? I won't give you anything to argue with me yet. Right after you sustained yes. an injury to your finger. Sorry. That you right after you sustained an injury to your finger. <laughs> Cosmetic <laughs> lawyer? Bro, like I I hope Amber kept the receipt. She needs to get a fucking refund. This guy is awful. Oh my god. Jesus, she cut off his finger? She doesn't have a case? I mean, bro. Quantum TV didn't have a case. I bet he'd do a better job up here. Like, yeah, he, he, he didn't have a case. You don't have to have a case. You just gotta be good at lying and making up bullshit. This guy's awful. You poured yourself a, um, a mega pint of red wine, correct? <laughs> a mega pint. Yeah. We're going to fast forward in time a little bit, Mr. Depp. Jesus um, Christ. I, feel it. I, I have other uses for your throat, which do not include injury. I have other uses for your throat. Which do My not man. include injury. Sorry, could you read that again? <laughs> okay. I've got to see a few more of these. You oh my god. A, um, a mega, mega pint. pint. Online, correct? A mega pint. <laughs> okay, I've got to see some GTA RP lawyer. Oh my fucking god. This is amazing. Let me. I've got to look at a few more of these. I literally just got into I got into bed um I remember the television was on uh -huh. and I and I was reading and I uh, suppose Miss Heard was down in her area taking off her got her still okay. makeup and changing to sleep clothes whatever and uh she entered the bedroom <clears throat> while I was laying on my side of the bed reading and she was still rattling off all the wrongs I'd uh, done to her in that particular day and, and how unreliable I am and uh, what a, you know, what a horrible person I was. Yep, um, yep. And I and I did not I did not engage verbally nothing. You didn't want I to deal with it. Sat there or laid He's like, there, shut up! I'm trying to sleep. Reading my book, and when that when she didn't get a jump out of me or a jolt out of me, she got out of bed. She walked around the bed. She came to my side. And uh, again, the, the, you know, you, you you've got. Uh, yep. You've got a person who is uh, throwing multiple shots at your at your face, at your head, at your neck, at your at anything she could hit. So, God damn! I 
I got up out of bed and I grabbed her by the shoulders and I sat her down on the bed. <clears throat> and I said, I'm leaving. Please don't get off the bed. Please don't follow me. Please don't try and stop me. I'm leaving. It's a good, good idea. And she got up off the bed. I would have never expected that. And she squared off at me in the doorway of our bedroom. And I said, what do you, what do you want to do? Hit me again? Would you like to hit me again? And I said, go ahead. Hit me. Bam. And then I just said, did that, is that what you wanted? Would you like another? Bam. There's the second one. And I said, good, now you're done. Grabbed her by the shoulders, walked her to the bed, sat her down and said, don't follow me, leave me alone. I'm out, I'm gone. I went, I grabbed a few things and I got out immediately and I went to um, my other house on Sweetser. As Ms. Hurd was, yep. she was leaving Good. the following day for uh, Coachella, which is a, a, a it's a Coachella is like a, it's a big event, a concert, you know, many, many bands and um, yeah. <laughs> the desert. She, she, she and her friends were going to Coachella for the weekend. Just doesn't give a fuck. And um, that was it. That was just, that was it. Mr. Depp, after April twenty first, two thousand sixteen, when was the next time that you actually saw Miss Hurd in person? I left Miss Hurd. Well, I left Penthouse Three. I left at four thirty in the morning. Uh, on, it was actually April, it was actually her birthday, it was about 4, 4.30 in the morning, April 22nd, and that's when I left, and from that moment on, I did not see Ms. Hurd until May 21st. And why was that? Um... Oh my God. Why was that? I wonder why. I had received some news. No. That was. Oh no. Oh, why didn't you come back? Um. As absurd and grotesque and oh, God. cruel. Um, and then I was shown a picture oh, God. of what the problem was. I had gone to Mr. Bet. I like how he's, it's like he's talk, he's trying to talk around it. You know, he's just trying to talk around the whole thing. You know, he's like, he's just. He's, he's, like, everything here is like, yeah, he's fine, but, like, just even saying this is too much. The build-up, yeah. And said, uh, she's in Coachella, she's at Coachella. I think it's a good time to go downtown so that I can get some of my things, you know, and uh, get them out of there, especially the things that were uh, uh, precious to me, you know, children things, things from... Friends, Brando, Hunter, Thompson, whatever, things that were important to me. And he said, I don't think now's a good time to go. <laughs> Why and not? I thought, it's the perfect time. She's not going to be home for two days. Why not? And then he showed me a photograph on his telephone of... Uh... Objection, Your Honor. Objection, Your Honor. Wait up. Hold up, wait a minute. 
<laughs> oh shit! Objection! It's it's a photograph, Your Honor. Oh God! It's not. He's not gonna show it, is he? There's no way. It's he's not gonna show it, right? Does this video show it or not? No, 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 no. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Good. It doesn't. Okay. He, he says he looked at it on his on his phone. I'll overrule the objection as the photograph. What was the photograph of Mr. Depp? It was a. <laughs> it's the pause. It was a. It was a photograph of the bed, our bed, um, and on. My side of the bed. They need to cut to Amber again. Please um, cut to Amber again. What are you saying? This? Please cut to Amber was again. Was human Please. fecal matter. Um, <laughs> so I am Look at his face. Um, <laughs> he knows how fucking stupid it is. <laughs> like, he just knows. He's like, yeah. <laughs> the fuck's wrong with you? How the fuck that yeah, human fecal matter. Like he can't even say it in a normal way. To like he says it in like this like the fucking the the uh scientific way to like um fucking to like distance himself from the fact that this actually happened. So I understood why it wasn't a good time to go down there. Um Yeah. My initial response to that was I mean I laughed I, I, there was, didn't believe it it was so outside it was so bizarre and so grotesque that I could only laugh um and um so I did not go down there that day. You know what the funny thing is? Mr. Depp, how I, I think that that was probably her shitting on his bed was probably the best thing that she ever did for him. Because that's probably one of the first times that he really realized the depths of how fucking insane that she was. Because her doing that, because all the way up until then, I'm going to get my stuff. And, you know, like, maybe it's like, ah, you know what? Like, you know, we'll, maybe we'll talk it out after she gets back from Coachella. And, you know, she might have been in a bad mood. And, we'll, we'll, you know, I can fix her, right? And then, you know, y y your boy shows you a picture of her taking his shit in your bed. And you're like, actually, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> you know? That is the biggest favor that she could have ever fucking done for him. That's my honest opinion on it. Uh, there's somebody at Thank Rips of Five to the Tubs. Yeah. It's not a red flag. It's a brown flag. You're goddamn right. Yeah. And, and like you can tell, like, it's probably the first time in probably those two days that he had been gone that, that, sh that he had laughed. You, you think about that, right? It's like, imagine how much, how freeing that picture must have been for him to see he's like you know what you know we'll see what happens he sees this that, that, you know what that's it shit happens yep shit happens it's just unbelievable can't imagine the smell i i i don't want to uh that is unbelievable man post shit clarity uh, and it's just it's so ridiculous i mean he, even even he was laughing at it you, you see what i'm saying like, yeah it, even he was laughing at it She's asking for seven million from him. And you know what I think? I think that's the best deal of his life. He only has to pay seven million dollars to get this woman out of his life. That is the best deal of his fucking life. Then she asked for a hundred million? Yeah, I mean, like, that's a bit more, right? But like, if it's only seven, like, just get it out of the way, get it done. Did it settle on the money, but she wanted more? Yeah, I bet she did. Okay, all right, let's watch this. Here we go. And the way that the the way that the bar was situated 
and w w where Miss Herb was. So if, 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 if I could show you, so if, if this is the bar where the glass was and the bottles, if this was the bar and I'm sitting here like this, she would grab the bottle and she would go there, she went there. And so I was leaning like this in the chair, looking at her. First bottle went, then got the other bottle shot. Takes the second bottle, which is the larger one. I'm in this position again, and my my hand is on the edge of the the bar, like like that, you know, leaning over the fingers. Like that, and uh, she threw the large bottle, and it made contact and shattered uh, everywhere. Jesus Christ! And I, I honestly didn't, I didn't feel the pain at first at all. I felt no pain whatsoever. What I felt was, um, I felt heat. I felt heat and I felt... Up in the blood, yeah. Um, as if something were dripping down my hand, you know. Um, and then I looked down and realized that the, the, the tip of my finger had been severed. And uh, I was looking directly at my bones sticking out and uh, the 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 meaty portion of your the inside of your finger the, um, the cartilage and it was it, blood was just uh, pouring out oh. and at that point I I I, I think that I went into some sort of, I, I don't know what a nervous breakdown feels like, but that's probably the closest that I've ever been. I didn't, nothing made sense. Yeah, I bet. And I knew in my mind and in my heart, this is, this is not life. Yeah, I bet it's not. Thanks for watching our YouTube. God fucking damn, bro. Like, holy shit. How's she not in jail? I mean, I, I don't know, man. It's just that's nuts. Uh, He's suing for 50 million defamation. She said in an article that he abused her, lost his roles. I know that. Yeah, I, I fucking know that. It, it That's nuts, man. Like, that's absolutely fucking nuts female privilege I, I don't know about that i feel like there's a lot of people there like I, I feel like if you're rich you don't really go to jail like i mean that's not really like that's not really what happens right like poor people go to jail rich people they don't really go to jail i mean like that's not that's just not how the world works and, and so that's what the difference is and uh now he's suing her good <laughs> yeah pull the reverse card i love to see it absolutely fucking lootly man uh it, it's it's nuts to see this kind of crazy shit man and uh, and is this a vocal abuse is different than mental and physical? Yeah, it was only hearing half the story right now. I'm sure Johnny Depp was an asshole to her in some ways. Yeah, absolutely. Like, yeah, that's the way it goes. I mean, all this stuff is like never completely one sided, but you know, it sure seems like it's going in one direction. What do you think will happen? I mean, I I don't know. I, I think that um. I feel like there's a lot of guys out there and like, this is the facts, right? There's a lot of guys out there that this is probably the most therapeutic thing that's happened to them. Like this is better than therapy for them to see, to see this trial happen. Because like I said about friends of mine, like Jeff, for example, uh, it, it's like his girlfriend hit him and then the cops show up and guess who's in the car. Jeff's in the car. And it's like guys see this and they've they've been in this position before, right? 
And, like, a lot of times, like, cops will just assume that you're the guy in the wrong, right? And, I mean, like, to be fair, there's a lot of statistics that say a lot of times, like, listen, who was it? Was it Chris Rock that made the joke about um, guys always joke about their uh, their crazy girlfriends? The reason why girlfriends never cr- joke about crazy boyfriends is because they're dead. Yeah, so I, I, I get it. I get it. Uh, but at the same time, it's it's just people should be treated the same way. Yeah, I think it was Chris Rock. Yeah, yeah, there he goes. And uh, Donald Glover, maybe it was. I forgot. I, f- I forgot what it was. But anyway, all I'm saying, right, is that, uh, you know, guy, guys do, do bad shit all the time, too. But, like, I think that there's, like, an assumption of guilt with, like, a guy whenever this happens. And, and uh, I feel like a lot, of, a lot of guys have had this happen with a girl before. And so seeing, uh, s- seeing this trial is, is very, uh, v- very cathartic for them, uh, for sure. Some of the mental abuse my ex-girlfriend definitely hard to speak up about, about the societal idea that men should be strong and, and can't be victims of abuse. Yeah, I, I've seen this before. And, and, like, even I'll see, like, women that say this. They're like, oh, well, you know, like, why can't he just defend himself? Like, be a man. That's just, that's just so, that's so disgusting, man. And, like, guys say it too, by the way. It's not like this is a girl-only thing. Like, guys perpetuate this shit a whole lot. Uh, it's it's just so disgusting, man. It really is. Watch the thumbnail news cut video. It's audio tape of her beating on him. I don't want to watch that, man. Like fuck that. And uh, Amber's parents are legit on Johnny's side. It sucks, man. Like it just fucking sucks. Be a man gets you jailed for ten years. Well, I, I mean, I don't want to get into it, right? But like, I mean, Jeff's a bodybuilder. Like he's like six one, six two, right? And like, so if there's an altercation with a girl, they're gonna assume that he's the kind of guy that's gonna be causing the problems. You know what I mean? Uh, and, and so it's just it, it sucks, man. It really does. A little girl in the hospital asked what happened to his finger. What did you discover right now? Is toxic masculinity? Is expectations being held up by men and women? I mean, sure. I feel like all of these terms, like hos, uh, like to- toxic masculinity, uh, you know, like a lot of these like terms people use all the time, are uh, uh, they're like they're so watered down and they're so weaponized and like everybody uses them in like different ways and it's like there's like no like d- determined uh, like d- d- determined thing. Like, the toxic masculinity, like, yes, it, it, it's true. It's like a buzzword, right? Like, yeah, you, you're right, but I don't like using the term because I feel like it's just, like, people hear that term. And, like, for me, I hear that term, my brain turns off. I'm like, ah, oh, this is just bullshit, right? It's just some fucking, it's just some bullshit. Because it, it's just, like, the idea that, like, men are somehow at fault for this or whatever. But I agree. I, I do fundamentally agree. I think that it's toxic. Uh, I, I don't I don't like the, the male or female aspect of it, but I believe that it's toxic. Uh, absolutely. You want the Act Man video? Yeah, 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 yeah. We saw, we saw, we saw. I'll look at that in a bit, okay? And um, I have toxic masculinity, but uh, it can't be uh, you're on your period, bro. <laughs> shut up. Like, shut up. Like, why are you bring this shit in here, man? Like, that's not even what we're talking about. Like, shut up. Like, that's got nothing to do with it. That's like toxic chat you want to do. Like, yeah, whatever. Like, that's got nothing to do with it. All I'm really trying to term itself not the problem. People try to use it. Yeah, yes, people try to use it, and they like turn it into something that it's not. But yeah, I do think that it's true, and I hope that this uh, this trial sheds a light on it, and people can see how somebody. And it's like the thing is, like a lot of guys, I've seen guys that you know uh, they get in a relationship with a crazy girl, and this girl just slowly. It's like the guy is a cookie. And the girl is an ant. And after a year or so, the cookie is gone. You, you know what I mean? Like, it takes a while. It's not like it happens immediately. But after a while, it happens. You know? And it's just so depressing, man. Like, I've had, uh, like, there was a girlfriend I had that was crazy. It wasn't Izzy, so stop. Um... But, like, there was, and it's so stressful, man. And I remember, see, the, the thing about, like, the Johnny fucking laughing at the thing is I remember I had a moment like that where, like, this girl was just fucking going, like, I'm talking about, like, you know how, like, there are different bosses that have, like, different types of enraged timers, and there's, like, some that, like, you know, do, like, an AOE kill everybody, but there's some bosses that, like, they, they like, do, like, 200% attack speed and, like, 500% damage. Well, like, this is the kind of enraged timer that she was on, right? And it's, like, not even just for, like, a second. It's, like, a 10-minute duration. And so, like, she's talking about, like, I mean, I'm talking about, like, a fucking massive fucking enraged timer, like, going 
ape shit. And about halfway through the, the fucking boss fight here, I'm realizing to myself, holy fuck. I can't fix her. This is above my, this is, oh my, oh my God. And I thought it was kind of funny. And I thought to myself, even while we were talking, I'm like, man, I got to see what Zach's doing. I got to hang out with some of my friends, man. This is fucking, fuck this shit. Like, I'm like, I'm immediately like losing interest in this. I don't even care anymore. I get to finally move on with my life. It's like, I'm ready to just call this raid right now. Let's go. I'm under, yeah, I'm under geared for this shit. Uh-uh, man. And so I, like, I had a moment like that too. I think a lot of you guys have, have any of y'all had that same thing happen? And, and like girls too, like this happened, like you're, you're with a guy and like this guy is just fucking nuts. And then like, finally he gets mad because, uh, you, you know, you're going out with like a short sleeve shirt on and, and you just like, okay, this is like once. Yeah. And, and, and like, hope it doesn't stay more than that. Yeah. That's some fucking scary shit. Ain't it? That's some motherfucking scary shit. Like, yeah. Break your shit for no reason. I never had to deal with that, but you know, it's too much. And acts like that would hit me all the time. I ended up in jail because of it. Isn't that some shit, man? I, I just like, I saw like, I saw this, um, like, where's the thing where he said he had never even seen the movie? He said he never even seen the movie. Um, says he never, he know, look at this. He never even seen the movie. <laughs> like, I don't even know. I believe this shit. He never even seen my watch this old movie. Doesn't watch his own movies yet. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Stand still. How did the film ultimately turn out in your view? Um, I didn't see it. But uh, I believe that the film, well, I mean, the film did pretty well, apparently, and, uh, and uh, they wanted to keep going, uh, making, uh, making more. And I was... Sorry. <laughs> Stand still. How did the film ultimately turn out in your view? Um, I didn't see it. But uh, I believe that the film, yeah. well, I mean, the film did pretty well, apparently. And uh, and uh, they wanted to keep going. Watch the whole trial? Uh, no. Making, uh, making more. And I was fine to do that. Uh, as uh, it was, it there's great freedom in in being able to. It's not like you become that person, but if you, if you know that character it, it, to the degree that I did, because he was not what the writers wrote, so they really weren't able to write for him. So. Once you know a character yeah, better version than writers, where basically a clown. that's when you... I'll, I'll look at um, it after this. You have to... And then I want to watch uh, the uh, Act Man video. the character and add your words. Do you think he didn't watch his own movie? Add, add, the, add the rewrites. I, I mean, I'm um, not 100%. I'd say... I, I was... Uh, probably not. I, I've heard that before yeah, from no, other actors. I, people I, say the I same thing. I believed in the character wholeheartedly, and the... Uh, yeah, a lot of actors don't. So, like, yeah, like... Initially, the There's Disney uh, folks were somewhat upset. Now oh my God, that. bro! Like that's a that's a. Do you watch your own videos? Yeah, I mean sometimes, like man, I tell you guys something. Man, I watch on Twitch and like some shit, some boring. I'm like, man, I gotta watch my own vibe for some good content, man. It's just so fucking dumb. All the time, I do that. Like all the time, man. Like it's just so fucking boring, man. I watch my own vibe. Like, that's, a, that's just a fact, right? Uh, uh, let me let me see right now. All right, trial, uh, trial, yeah, trial of valor mythic. Yeah, there it is. Um, uh, Johnny Depp trial highlights. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's a it's a two minute video. That's it. You'd agree with that, right? No, I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Um, okay. Well, then let let's let's do this. So, is it your testimony that right after you cut your finger off? that you are right after I, I won't give you anything to argue with me yet right after you sustained yes. an injury to your finger sorry 
that you, right after you sustained an injury to your finger, is it your testimony that you did not ask for cocaine and ecstasy right after you told the doctor about your finger injury? Is that your testimony? Um, <clears throat> regardless of what date you believe works within the world time zone, um, I don't believe that someone who has gone through uh, opiate dependency, who has lost the ability uh, to, to produce dopamine and serotonin in their own body, because um, that's what the opiate does. Your body no longer needs to make the dopamine or the serotonin. The dopamine and serotonin, as you know, I imagine, are um, things that keep us um, in, 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 it gives I, us, it gives us up, our I, moods, it gives I, us... I appreciate that, but my question wasn't that. My question was, I'm just trying right to after school you, you told you the doctor me. about your finger injury, you were asking for cocaine, it's, it's entirely possible that you were asking for cocaine and ecstasy. Objection. Yes or no? Speculation. Sounds fair. No, I'll, I'll I mean, if I just got my finger uh, cut off, uh, I would want cocaine too. really uh, uh, need whitey, more whitey stuff. Um, is, yeah, is, is, uh, man, fuck. Yes, it's a reference to cocaine, but that doesn't, uh, there's nothing here that says that I ingested the drug. Not saying God that damn. you were asking for more cocaine and you were asking for more ecstasy, correct? I wasn't asking for m more ecstasy. I was asking for ecstasy because that was what I was requested from, was requested by Ms. Hurt. Let's let's take a look at the the UK transcript. Date. I wasn't asking for more. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, look, guys, it's just uh, again, I I I'm really glad this trial is happening because it shows how fucking how fucking ridiculous some of this stuff is, man. It really is. Uh, it's just, it really shows how ridiculous it is, and I hope that people uh people are able to see it, man. Cocaine's actually used as local anesthesia. Yeah, I know. It's just, it's awful, man. It really is.